In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the SubD tool uh, in modeling mode in Unreal Engine 5.0. So I'm just going to make a default box here. I'm going to just create a new box, um, static mesh asset. I'm going to run the SubD tool. And like you might expect, you're going to get a sort of subdivided, standard subdivided version of that box that's going to sort of converge to a sphere as we turn up the SubD level. So that's the sort of basic usage. Now, if you try to run this on a triangulated mesh that uh, you might have imported, you'll see that the subdivision scheme here is grayed out, and you you can only use something called loop subdivision. So what's loop subdivision, if you're not familiar with it? Um, loop subdivision is based off the triangle mesh, and it subdivides triangles into triangles. You can see here the sort of triangles being added, uh, versus Catmull clark which is based off the quads. Um, so we jump to loop, you see you see the triangles here in the cage mesh that you can turn on and off. And in Catmull clark you see the quads. So where do those quads come from? Because in Unreal Engine we don't have quad meshes, everything is triangulated. So basically we get those quads from the what we call the polygroup topology, which is the borders of the polygroups in the input mesh. Um, so if I go make another box here, I'll add two subdivisions on each side and we jump back into subdiv, you'll see I, I get the same result. I get the same low res cage for Catmull Clark, but if I go to loop, uh, those additional faces I added show up in the cage and then in the subd result. So that's because, of course, uh, if I go to group paint, you see there's still only one polygroup on each of those faces. So what it's doing is it's finding the boundaries of those polygroups and using those as the quads. If I go back here and I change the, to the box tool and change the polygroup mode to per quad, now in group paint you see I've got uh, separate polygroups on each of those faces and so if I go back to sub D with Catmull Clark I'm going to get those additional quads there. So there's some other um, you know limitations of this if I go into say group paint on this tool and I just um, uh, shift Q to make a new group and I do something weird like um, paint a group around the outside here that is a full loop, fully connected, and accept that. Now if I jump back into the sub D tool, it won't let me use Catmull Clark anymore because the group topology on this mesh is is now no longer something that Catmull Clark would work on. It can't sub D a ring like that that has a kind of hole in the middle, um, if that makes sense, that I've got a single group here around the outside that makes a kind of ring shape. So that's just something to know. If you can't get a Catmull Clark result, it's probably because the, the group topology is broken. Uh, but otherwise, um, all your sort of standard uh, tools work here. Let's just change it back to Catmull Clark so we can jump back and forth. So we go into PolyEd and we do things like insert some edge loops, uh, and then, you know, maybe do a bit of shape editing and we jump back into sub D, you see you can basically iterate like that jumping back and forth. Now that jumping back and forth is not super convenient. Uh, so another thing we can do, I'm going to show this in a future video, is I use geometry script to make a kind of live sub D preview. So I'm just going to quickly drop one of those in and set it up. And so now when I go back and edit this shape, I'm going to use Poly Deform tool, which is just a really fast way to like grab faces and move them. That live sub D preview is going to update. So this is a kind of little thing you can build yourself in the editor. Um, and I'll show that in another video. Uh, but otherwise, so that's basically how the sub D tool works uh, here in UE 5.0. Thanks for watching.